it. A loot bag. Oh, and here's an extra one for you. A loot bag. I love loot bags. Let's open them. Good idea, Squidgy. I got bubble gum. I got bubble gum, too. I got a lollipop. Oh, I got a marble. Wow. That isn't just any marble. That's a Jupiter Storm marble. I've always wanted one of those. A Jupiter Storm marble? Yeah. I can't believe you got one. Maybe you got one, too. Nope. Just three regular marbles. I already got a whole bag of these. A whole bag? Do you want to trade? Trade? Yeah. You can take any one of these marbles if you give me your Jupiter Storm. Sure. Here, take a look. What color would make you happy, Squidgy? Purple, yellow, green. Oh, I want all the colors. Orange, pink, periwinkle, maroon, fuchsia, polka dot. Ooh, now that's a lot of colored marbles. These aren't marbles, Squidgy. They're beads. Hi, Hi Olive. Olive. Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to Lothal, the biggest trading port in all of India. People come here from all over the world. <laughs> huh. What for? To visit the marketplace. They come to trade things that they don't want for things that they do want. <sighs> what do you trade, Olive? I'm a bead merchant. I travel all around the world on my boat to trade beads for things that make me happy. Cool. When are you going? Well, I was hoping to leave tonight, but I can't go anywhere until I get my new sail. Oh, the sail is full of holes. Exactly. I need to trade my beads for a new one. Well, Squidgy and I are really good traders. We can help you. Oh, yeah. We love making trades. Then come with me. Justin, look! <laughs> Toys! Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, make a trade for games and toys! Checker! Oh, checker! Yoo-hoo! Hmm. I can't find it anywhere, Justin. Me neither, Squidgy. <sighs> I can't play checkers with Moomoo Bear if one of my pieces is... <laughs> Lost. Don't worry, Squidgy. I'll help you find it. Justin? What are you doing? I lost my checker and I can't find it anywhere. Well, have you ever heard the finding song? When something's lost and it can't be found You've searched high and low and you've looked around Just go to the place that you had at last Retrace your steps. Be right back. Hmm. This lost checker is a real mystery. That's right, Squidgy. A mystery. And a mystery is made to be solved. Yeah, but by who, Justin? By a detective. Like me. World famous detective Justin. Hmm. It's foggy. Very foggy. Hello? Aha! A mysterious voice! Who said that? I did. Where are you? Over here! Where are you? Right here! Oh. <laughs> Olive! Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to the Tower of London. Ooh, nice outfit, Olive. But how come your sleeves are so puffy? <laughs> This is my Beefeater uniform. I'm a royal guard. Wow. I guard the king and do lots of other jobs, too. Whoa! What's that? It's my new guitar. Doesn't it sound great? Yeah! It makes me want to dance! <laughs> go, Squidgy, go! I think your guitar is making my legs go all wingy wongy. Justin, can I try your guitar? Uh, sure, Squidgy. Just a second. 
I wonder what happens when I play like this. Justin. Olive! Welcome to Granada, Spain. Wow! It's beautiful. And so is your dancing, Olive. Thank you, Squidgy. Oh! Hello, Chief. We're here. Hi. You've brought the totem box. Um, Chief, uh, there's something we should tell you. I see the box is empty. There are no gifts. There was a poor bear. Uh, we met this really cute sea otter. Um, well, there was a family of ravens and... I guess what we we're trying to say is... We gave everything away. <laughs> That's wonderful. Huh? huh? But didn't you say those gifts were important? Yes. And the feeling you get when you share with others is the greatest gift of all. You know what? It did feel good to share those gifts. The ravens were so grateful. And the sea otter loved his rattle. And the bear looked marvelous. Well, that deserves an ow! Ow! Now come with me. I have a surprise for you. Hey, look! Everyone's here! Your friends have all come to thank you and to help us unwrap our new totem pole. Awesome! Everyone, please take a rope. Now pull! <laughs> wow! Hey, look, it's a wolf. And a raven. Oh, and a sea otter. And there's a bear. And don't forget Olive. Squidgy and Justin. Ow! Ow! Justin! That's my dad. I'd better go. Bye, everybody! Bye! Bye! Goodbye, Justin. Goodbye, Squidgy. Ow! So, Justin, what are you gonna do about Tiny? Tiny? I know you're gonna make some little kid really, really happy. So, into the charity box you go. Bye, Tiny. <laughs> Don't lose that squeak. Dad, our charity box is ready to go. And then the firefighters put the fire out and rescued the entire town. The end. Wow! Firefighters are real heroes. We should be firefighters. Then. We could be heroes, too. <laughs> okay. Well, who are we gonna rescue? Hmm. I know. I'll go ask Mom if she needs to be rescued. Hey, Mom. I'm a firefighter. Do you need to be rescued? Hmm. Not really. But you could help me water the garden. Mom. I mean, like, a big rescue. Like, putting out a fire. Oh, I see. Well, there aren't any fires to put out, but I'll let you know if I see any. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so does your mom need our help? Nope. And it doesn't look like anyone around here needs to be rescued. <gasps> That's it, Squidgy. Let's go to the fire station. Vroom, vroom. Hop on, Squidgy. Oh, oh, I'll turn on the siren. Woo! Justin, hi, Squidgy. Welcome to San Francisco Fire Station number one. Whoa! What a cool siren! What a cool fire truck! Thanks. I need them both to be a firefighter. <gasps> Can we be firefighters too? Sure. Follow me into the firehouse. To be a firefighter, you always need to be ready. 
Ready for a big rescue. Big or small, we are ready to rescue them all. But first we'll need to put on our... Ready! Perfect, you've got your fire helmets. Now follow me. <laughs> I'm going to show you the most important tool in the firehouse. A phone? Right. When the phone rings, it tells us where our next rescue is. It's rescue time, Squidgy! <sighs> there. <laughs> Follow those pickles! What? Hey, where am I? Sorry, Squidgy. I didn't mean to wake you. Oh, that's okay, Justin. What was that noise? I'm building the Tower of Justin. But it keeps falling down. The Tower of Justin? Oh, I love building things. Can I help? What's the plan? How are we going to build it? We're going to make it tall, Squidgy. Really tall. Oh, that's a great plan, Justin. Okay, I do this. And again, up with, nope, up the top. A little more. There. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Mm. Why does it keep falling? Well, maybe there's something wrong with these blocks. You know what we need, Squidgy? Real builder stuff like drillers and movers. And pushers and lifters. Right! Then I could build a super tall tower. Higher than this room, Justin? As high as the sky! Wow! Morning, Justin! Morning, Squidgy! <laughs> Olive! Welcome to New York City! Justin, look at all that construction! They sure have tall buildings here. Yep, they're so tall, they scrape the sky. So we call them skyscrapers. Skyscrapers, ooh! Let's build our own skyscraper, Olive. Great idea. We can call it the Tower of Justin. Yeah! Let's get started. Wait a second. First, you'll need these to keep you safe. Hard hats! And I've got everything else we need right over there. Whoa! Big, humongous building blocks! Super humongous! But how are we going to lift them? Easy. With these hooks and those cranes. Cranes? <gasps> Squidgy, we get to use cranes! I love cranes! Woohoo! Okay, Justin, what's the plan? To build as tall as we can! <laughs> Ready to get wet, Justin? Ready! Oh, well, that's a good idea, Justin. It sure is hot out. Hi, Mom. I'm gonna turn the water all the way up and get soaking wet. Will you have fun? Just be nice to my tulips. They don't like too much water. Okay, Mom. I will. Great. Have a blast. <gasps> Did you hear that, Justin? Your mom said have a blast. Yeah. Crank it up, Squidgy. Oh! <laughs> Squidgy? Ooh, they're so orangey. Orange is my favorite color. Olive! Olive! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to Holland, the land of tulips. Wow. Are all of these your tulips, Olive? You bet. I'm a tulip farmer. <laughs> Hello, Olive! Hi, Hans. Hi, Franz. Meet my friends, Justin and Squidgy. Hi! Hello! Olive, your tulips are so lovely. They are splendidly orange. <laughs> Say, are you all going to the tulip festival? Yeah, you should enter your flowers in a tulip contest. <laughs> a tulip contest? I'd bet you win, Olive. Oh, yeah. It, it's not too late to enter. Well, my tulips are extra orange this year. We can help you, Olive. Yeah. Okay, let's 
do it. Splendid! We'll see you all at the Tulip Festival, yeah? Yeah! 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see you at the festival! Hey, you look like a detective. I am. World-famous detective Justin at your service. And I'm Junior Detective Squidgy. At your service? Well, have I got a mystery for you to solve. Something very important is missing. Something's missing? What is it? What is it? Well, you see, I can't seem to find my... <gasps> the king is coming! All hail the king! Well, hello, world subjects. What a fine day it is for... Ooh, a hat! What a handsome hat that is! It's... it's... it's fantastic! <laughs> the king likes hats. <laughs> Say, are you here for the Royal Hat Parade? Um, uh... Excellent! My word, Beefy to Olive, where's your hat? Um, I think I lost it, sire. It's missing. <gasps> I had it this morning. Now it's gone. Hmm, interesting. Well, you'll have to find it. You need your hat for the Royal Hat Parade. Don't worry, Your Highness. We'll solve the mystery of the missing hat. You can count on us. Good, good. Oh, I must remember to choose my hat for the parade. Oh, I do love hats. Cheerio! Olive, Squidgy, we've got a mystery to solve. Follow me. Hmm. I love to dance, and our favorite dance in Spain is... the flamenco! Ole! Hey, Olive, can I play guitar while you dance? Sure, I'll also need someone to sing. Oh, I can sing! Listen! La, 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 la. Great singing, Squidgy. Now let's put it all together. Lots of people come from near and far. To hear Justin play on his guitar. The flamenco is the dance of Spain. Watch all of dance it as I explain. First you move your hands like birdies' wings. Stomp your feet and clap fast while I sing. The most important Part of what I say when the song ends, we shout Olé! Olé! <laughs> Look at that, Justin. Our charity box is almost full. Hey, Dad, why are we giving away Tiny? Well, you haven't played with Tiny since you were a little baby, but it's your toy, so it's really up to you, Justin. <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me know what you want to do about Tiny later. Hey, Tiny! Long time no see! Where have you been? Squidgy, Dad thinks we should give Tiny away. What? No, uh no way! You're staying with us, Tiny! <laughs> Look at all this other cool stuff we're giving away. Ha! What a funny looking hat! That's not a hat, Squidgy. That's my toy canoe. Oh. It's a kind of boat. You sit in it like this, and you paddle like this. Hey, this is fun! Um, where are we going? We're going on a canoe trip. Wow! Look at that house! It's so long! I wonder who lives there. I do. This is my longhouse. Olive! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to Haida Gwaii Islands, home of many tribes. I'm chief of the Sun Tribe, and this is my tribe's totem pole. We're people who really like the sun. I love the sun, too! <laughs> That's the chief of the Wolf Tribe. He really likes wolves. Chief, these are my friends, Justin, and Squidgy. Hello. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. I have come to invite you all to my totem pole party. A totem pole party? 
Sounds like fun. Yes, it will be a howling good time. <laughs> now to get to the party, you will need this totem box. Wow! These animals will guide you to the wolf tribe. These gifts are also for you. Olive, you have a beautiful spirit, so I give you this, a special comb. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you. Squidgy, in you, I sense a fun-loving spirit, so I give you this, a rattle. <laughs> and Justin, in you, I sense a deep adventure spirit, and so I give this, a special Haida hat. Wow. Now take care of these gifts. They are very important for the totem pole party. Thank you, Chief. See you at the party. Oh! Bye. Thank you. See you soon. Can I use the orange crane? Sure, Squishy. And I'll use the blue crane. And I'll take care of things here on the ground. Number one is in position. Nice work, Justin. Next one's ready, Squidgy. Take her away. <laughs> Nicely done, Squidgy. Maybe I... <laughs> yep, something's wrong with the blocks. You're right, Squidgy. The block looks tilty. Hang on. Oh, I get it. The blocks are okay. It's the ground that's the problem. Come over here and look. We're building on a big, lumpy bump of dirt. We should have moved it out of the way first. That's a lot of dirt to move. Not if you have the right equipment. Ah! Giant dirt movers. They're called bulldozers. Squidgy, you can have... I get the orange one. I get the blue one. Let's go. I'll lift the block. Okay, let's pick some tulips. There, we are good to go. Great! The festival's in the next village, so we can ride my bicycle there. Oh, I love bike rides! Would you like to ride in a basket, Squidgy? Woohoo! I love riding in baskets! Here you go, Justin. Thanks, Olive. Ready, Squidgy? Oh, I'm ready to go, go, go! That's a huge wall. And that's a lot of water. That's the ocean, and this wall is called a dike. It keeps the water away from our tulips. Well, I thought tulips like water. Tulips need water to grow, but they don't like too much water. Oh, what happens when there's too much water? Then windmills turn and pump the water back into the ocean. Oh, I see. Cool. think you lost your hat, Olive? I don't know. I could have left it anywhere. I go all over the tower for my bee feeder jobs. Hey, look over here! I found lots of hats! Wow, there are a lot of hats. This is the king's hat collection. Is this your hat, Olive? Hip, hip. How about this one? <laughs> How about this? No, Squidgy, none of these are mine. I didn't go in this room today, so I couldn't have left my hat in here. Very interesting. This is a tricky case. You know what I need? My magnifying glass! Now follow me! Hmm. Hmm. This is the Royal Library. 
library. A library? Hmm. This calls for special detective equipment. Nice. But I wasn't in the library, Justin, so I couldn't have lost my hat here. I found a hat! Very interesting discovery, Squidgy. Uh, guys, that's a book about hats. Yes, but maybe there's a picture of your hat in this book. Then we can all see what it looks like. Hey, where are we? In Secret Passage. Where does it go? You're about to find out. Where are we now, Olive? We're in the Royal Garden. Watering the garden is one of my jobs. I just did it this morning, and oh, I remember! I had my hat with me. Aha! So we won't find it here. Arriba! Senor Fernando! Senorita Olive, such a fine performance. Who are these talented musicians? They're my friends. Justin, Squidgy, meet Senor Fernando. He's the caretaker of the King's Palace. It is my great honor to serve my king and uphold the honor of the flamenco. Ole! That is a beautiful instrument you have, amigo. May I? Sure. I used to be in a band myself. Ah, yes. It has a beautiful sound. But it is not just the guitar that makes music. It is the player. And you are a very good player, Justin. Thank you. And your dancing is wonderful, Senorita Olive. Thank you. And your singing, Senor Squeechy, well, I have never heard anything like it. Thank you, Senor Fernando. In fact, you are such wonderful performers that I think you must do your flamenco for the king. Really? The king? Oh, this is so exciting. Come, I, Senor Fernando, will take you. Olé! Oh, no! How can I play for the king with a broken guitar string? It will be my honor to get you a new string at the palace. Arriba, follow me! That means hurry up. Let's go! All right, let's move that big, lumpy bump of dirt out of the way. Wow, this is a lot of dirt. Coming back for more. Wow, this is a lot of dirt. Bumpy bump of dirt doesn't seem to be getting any smaller. Huh? Eh, oh well. Huh? huh? Hey! Squidgy! Oh, hey, Justin! What you doing? I'm moving the big lumpy bump of dirt! Hey! I'm moving the big lumpy bump of dirt too! There sure is a lot of it, huh? Squidgy! We're just moving the same dirt back and forth. <laughs> oh. Oh. Maybe we should have planned this a little better. I think we need to move the dirt away from here. Yeah, good idea, Justin, but where? Hey, guys, just load that dirt into my dump truck. Good, good thinking, thinking, Olive. It's a big palace. Si, si, amigo. Such a grand place takes a lot of care. I must always be at the ready. <gasps> Look! The flag! I must fix that floppy flag before I can take you to the king. That's just the way it is with Senor Fernando. When something's wrong with the castle, he forgets about everything else. Um, is there anything we can do to help you, Senor Fernando? It would be most helpful for you to perform your fine flamenco while I fix this floppy flag. Justin, you're missing a string. I know, Olive, but maybe it won't sound that bad. Let's give it a shot. A missing string makes Justin sad. 
while we watch Fernando fix the floppy flag. Hey! Not another string. You truly are fine performers. The king will be very happy to see you. But we're not ready for the king. Justin broke another string. And now my guitar doesn't sound as nice. The string, yes, of course. I, Senor Fernando, will fix your guitar. Come, follow me. Arriba, arriba. <laughs> After I fix your guitar, we will go to the king and you shall play your flamenco. Is there anything else you might like? This wooden doll? A one-wheeled bike. Hmm. A one-wheeled bike is nice, but I really need a new sail for my boat. A sail for your boat? I know just the shop. Walk down this way. It's a skip and a hop. All right. Let's go. Thanks, Ravi. Happy trading. Welcome to Akram Sail Emporium. I am Akram. Hi, Akram. I'm looking for a new sail for my boat. Oh, then you have come to the right place. I have the finest sails in all of India. Here, feel. Ooh, soft. Which sail do you like best, Olive? Do you have one that will make my boat go fast? I love going fast. Ah, then you need this. The fastest sail in all of India. Hey, Olive, can I make this trade? Sure, Justin. Here are my beads. Mr. Akram, we'd like to trade for your sale. Very good, very good. What do you have? How about these beads? Oh, these beads are very beautiful. I think we've got a deal. But I already have a basket full of beads. More beads would not make me happy. Oh. Well, how about my bird whistle? <gasps> That's a very, very nice bird whistle. But... It would not make me happy. Then what would make you happy, Akram? A bouncy ball. A bouncy ball? A bouncy, 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 bouncy ball! But we don't have a bouncy ball. Oh, too bad. So I guess we can't make a trade today. I am very sorry. That's okay, Akram. We only want to make a trade that makes everybody happy. Yeah. I'm sure we can find a sail merchant who wants to trade for beads. Bye, Bye Mr. Akram! Happy trading! And please, if you find a bouncy ball, remember, that would make me very happy. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Look at these! Mysterious footprints. Those are mine from this morning. Very interesting. If we follow your footprints, we can go to all the places you went with your hat. You mean retrace my steps? Yes, retrace your steps. Just like in the Finding song. When something's lost and it can't be found, you search time low when you've looked around. Just go to the place that you had it last. Retrace your steps. So what are these animals, Olive? A bear, a sea otter, and a raven. I've seen them on totem poles before. Hmm. I get it. We have to find totem poles with these animals on them. Hey! I see a bear pole! That's the first animal in the box. Cool! Let's go. There it is! Uh, I don't see any parties from here. Whoa! 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 A real bear! It looks like she's really itchy. She has burrs stuck to her fur. Let's go help her. Hi there, Miss Bear. We can help you. <clears throat> if you could just hold still for a sec. Ouch! These burrs are sharp. How can we get them off? <clears throat> yeah, your fur could use a brushing. Too bad we don't have a brush. Wait a second. My comb! There we go. <laughs> wow, that comb really came in handy. I know. I just love it. I think the bear loves your comb, too. Here, why don't you keep it? Uh. That's so pretty. Oh, that's so you. <laughs> Olive, that comb was a gift to you. I know, but the bear 
means it more than me. And besides, she's so happy. <laughs> I know. I never know what to do with my hair either. <laughs> looking good, Miss Bear. <laughs> She said you're looking good in that hat, Justin. Thanks. The wolf chief gave it to me. A call! San Francisco Fire Station. We'll be right there. Come on, someone needs our help. We'll take the fastest way down. A fireball! Whee! Idea, Justin. Don't worry, we'll save your ducklings. Squidgy, no! Look out! Whoa! I got it! Justin! I'll save you, Squidgy! <laughs> That's better. Now let's aim it at the pond. Rescue team. Yep, those are some lucky duckies. That was fun, but it wasn't a really big rescue. <laughs> let's get back to the station and see if we get any more calls for help. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Look, the dike is leaking. Quick, we need to find something to stop the water. Yeah, stop the water. Oh, These are Hans and Franz's tulips. Cool. I like the blue ones. Oh, I like the yellow ones. Wait, stop. <laughs> Something's wrong. Oh, no, these tulips are all droopy. You're right. There's too much water in this field. We have to do something. But we need to get your tulips to the festival. I really do want to win the contest, but Hans and Franz's tulips are in danger. Oh. Hmm. You know what? You're right, Olive. We should help Hans and Franz. Yeah, let's save these tulips. Okay, here, put these on, Justin. Cool shoes. These are called clogs. They're like rain boots, only they're made of wood. Squidgy? <laughs> Squidgy, you found the problem. There's a hole in the dike. And it's spilling water in Hans and Franz's tulip field. We've got to plug this leak somehow. I can do that. There. <laughs> now you're using your head. Um, but you can't stay like that forever. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, Squidgy. We'll find something else to plug it with. Okay. Hey! Now, what can we use to plug the leak? Hmm. There's nothing here except for this old bag of onions. Actually, these are tulip bulbs. 
tulip bulbs? We plant them in the ground and they become tulips. Hmm. Hold on. I've got an idea. <laughs> Squidgy, look what we found. Onions, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Squidgy. These are tulip bulbs and they're perfect for plugging these holes. There. No more leaks. <gasps> the lions! Lions? <gasps> <laughs> Lion statue, Squidgy. What's wrong with them, Senor Fernando? That is the king's famous lion fountain. <gasps> but there is no gurgling. They are always gurgling. He's right. No gurgling. As caretaker of the palace, it is my duty to keep the fountains gurgling. Sorry, my friends. I must fix it before we go to the king. That's okay, Senor Fernando. But don't forget I need new guitar strings. I will not forget. But now, I must plunge. Oh, Brad Fernando, use your plunger, please. And keep the gurgly waters running yeah. free. Now we go to the king! This way! Senor Fernando, wait! I've broken another string! Well, that's that! Good and flat! Now we're ready! Let's, Let's get, get building! Right. Justin, does the tower look funny to you? It does look a little tilty, Olive. <gasps> I don't get it. We made the ground all flat. And we have all the right equipment. And these are all the right pieces. This isn't going according to plan. Um. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to start over again. <gasps> uh, Justin, I'm getting hungry. Me too, Squidgy. I guess it's time for our... Lunch break! <laughs> Got it! Oh, nice jump, Justin. Thanks, Squidgy. Throw it high so I can jump too. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> oh no! Hmm. Uh oh, our super saucer went into Mr. Manning's yard. Oh no! Can you see it? Yeah. <clears throat> but I can't reach it. So how are we gonna get it? Well, there is a gate, but I'm not supposed to open it without asking for Mr. Manning's permission first. Oh. Maybe if we opened it just a crack. <gasps> wow! Hi, Olive. Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Is that a super saucer? No, it's a gold pan. I'm a prospector, and this is my ranch. Welcome to the Yukon. Hey, Olive. What's a prospector do? A prospector is someone who looks for gold. Sometimes I pan for gold in the river, and sometimes I dig for it in my gold mine. But I haven't found anything yet. Don't worry, Olive. Squidgy and I are good at finding things. <laughs> We'll help you find some gold. Yeah, gold! What does it look like? It's a sparkly yellow rock that's really pretty. Ooh, sounds nice. <gasps> Is this gold? No, Squidgy, that's just a regular rock. You won't find gold just lying around. That's what these pans are for. 
Here's how it works. You take your pan and scoop up some rocks from the river. Then you swirl it around and watch for anything shiny. I see something yellow and sparkly. Hmm. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Why don't you let me give it a try? Sure, Justin. Maybe you'll have better luck. Like this olive? That's right. Now swirl it around. See anything? Nothing. Hey! I think I see something over here. Toss me the pan, Justin. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> it went over to Yukon Dawn's side. Who's Yukon Dawn? She's my neighbor and a prospector like me. Let's see if we can get it. I can see it. <laughs> can you reach it? No, but if we open this gate... Justin, we can't. Why? Because we always ask permission. That's the prospector's golden rule. Don't worry, Olive. I won't open it all the way. Just a little tiny bit. Well, I guess that would be okay. Great! Got it! Now we can get back to finding gold. Let's try a little further down the stream. Hmm. Mmm, <gasps> this fruit looks yummy. Why don't we stop for a snack? Here, Squidgy, why don't you try trading this time? You think I can? Go for it. Ta-da! What did you get, Squidgy? I got one piece of fruit for everybody. Thanks, Squidgy. Good trading. Oh, I got an apple. I got an orange. I got a banana. Hey, I love bananas! And I love apples! And I love oranges! Hmm. hmm. I have an idea. We are going to do a three-way trade. What? If I give Squidgy my banana... Uh-huh. ...and Squidgy gives Justin his orange... Hmm? ...and Justin gives me his apple... Oh! Then everyone gets what they want! A three-way three trade! trade. It's too bad Akram doesn't want a bouncy orange instead of a bouncy... Wait a minute. Maybe Ravi the toy merchant has a bouncy ball. Then we could trade it to Akram for the sale. Just like we traded our fruit. Then everybody will be happy. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Would you like a wooden yak? We really like your wooden yak, but there's a reason we came back. I'll trade you more of my beautiful beads. For a bouncy ball, that's what we need. A bouncy ball? Well, goodness me, I'll have to take a look and see. Well, my friends, I have news for you all. Here in my hand is the very last ball! Yay! Thank you, Ravi! Happy trading! Hello, my friends. I am very happy to see you. Akram, we came to make a special trade. Uh, a bouncy ball, just like I wanted. One bouncy ball for one sale. Here you go, Olive. Thanks, Justin. I'm so happy. Bye, Bye Akram. This ball is super bouncy. I love it. And goodness me, you've got yourself a sale, I see. Yes, I'll be able to go super fast with this sale and make a lot more trades. We sure made some good trades today. I'm so happy. Me too. Hmm. The trail of footprints ends here. Whoa! <laughs> it's okay. Those are my friends, the Royal Ravens. I came up here to feed them this morning. <laughs> The ravens say thanks for the bird food. You're welcome, ravens. Maybe you left your hat here. <laughs> the ravens say your hat's not here, Olive. Hmm. Then this isn't the place you had it last. Not the place. Well, let me think. I watered the garden. Mm-hmm. Then I came up here to feed the birds. Go on. Then... Oh, I remember where I went next. Follow me. I came here, 
the most important room in the tower, the crown room. I dusted them all this morning so they'd be ready for the king. Very interesting. Show me where you went when you were dusting so we can retrace your steps. Okay. First, I dusted the little crowns over here. Uh -huh, I see. Then I dusted the medium crowns right here. Yep, yep. Uh -huh. Very medium. Then I went to dust the biggest crown of all, right here. Look how it twinkles in the sunshine. The sunshine. Now I remember. The sunshine was making the room really hot. Hmm. So you went over there to open the window. And that's where you left. My big red cat! We found it! You must have taken it off when you opened the window. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, Squidgy. Now I'm ready for the parade. <gasps> Dust! Dust bunnies! You shall not defeat me! <laughs> Senor Fernando! What is it? I know you're busy, but I'm going to need new guitar strings before we see the king. Yes, yes, we will fix the guitar. <gasps> oh! But first, I must get this one spot. I'll pray for Nando, dust the bunnies, please, and keep the palace looking clean. Chief's totem party. Let's check the box. We need to find the sea otter totem pole next. Oh, okay. She says it's just across the water and we can use that canoe. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Miss Bear. Bear. Bye. Uh. There's a totem pole. And that's a sea otter on the top. Hey, it is! What's a sea otter? Oh, Squidgy, they're super playful and so cute. And they love to play in the water. What was that? A baby sea otter! Oh, look at him! Hey, let's play together! Yeah! Oh, you want to try? Sure, here! Another sea otter. That must be his mommy. What? You've been looking all over for your baby? Oh, she found us because of all the rattling. Well, you better keep it. You're such a good rattler. Squidgy, that's so nice of you. But I thought you really liked that rattle. Yeah, but the baby really loves it. And he is so cute. And the mommy will always know where he is with that rattle. So, what's for lunch? We're making sandwiches. <gasps> Are those pickles? I love making sandwiches. Me too. Me three! Mine will be the biggest sandwich ever. Mine will be the crunchiest sandwich ever. Oh, I love pickles. Huh? Phew. This is gonna be so yummy. There. Done. Huh? Whoa. That's a sandwich. Thanks. How did you make it so tall? Easy. I started with the biggest thing, and then I added the medium-sized pieces, like the meat and cheese, and then I put the smallest thing on top, like the pickle. That is the perfect place to put the pickle. Wait, Squishy, that, that's it. That's how we're going to build it. We'll build our tower like a sandwich. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we have enough pickles. <laughs> That's not what Justin means, Squidgy. I mean we should put the big pieces on the bottom, then the medium pieces in the middle, then the little ones go on top. Now that's a plan. But what about all this water? Yeah, tulips don't like too much water. Don't worry. That windmill will pump all the water out. <gasps> but it's not turning. Let's go have a look. That 
It's a big windmill. I wonder why it isn't turning. Maybe it just needs a little push. Okay, everyone. On three. One, two, three. Push! <laughs> it's really stuck. So how do we get this windmill unstuck? I don't know, but if you need me, I'll be resting on this pile of tulip bulbs. Squidgy, that's it! That bag is blocking the windmill. I'll get it. <gasps> the windmill's turning! And the water's draining away. <laughs> yeah! yeah! All right! The tulips are happy! Come on, everyone. I bet we can still make it to the tulip festival. Lucky? Lucky! Where are you? You calmed on. Is everything okay? Well, howdy, Olive. Howdy, you calmed on. I'd like you to meet my friends, Justin and Squidgy. Howdy, neighbors. Any friend of Olive's is a friend of mine. Howdy, howdy you calmed on. Have you seen Lucky, my dog? I can't seem to find him anywhere. No, we haven't. Sorry, Yukon Don. I've checked all over my side. May I come over to your side and have a look? Of course. Thanks for asking first. Well, that is the prospector's golden rule. Always ask permission. I just love, love, love what you've done to the place, Olive. Thanks, Yukon Don. Now, I wonder where my dog Lucky's gone off to. Don't worry, Yukon Don. We'll help you find Lucky. Yeah! What does he look like? Well, he's so big and cuddly, and he has the prettiest golden fur. Golden fur? Yes, Squidgy. Lucky's a golden retriever. Well, he sure is. And who wait, he's got a real knack for finding gold. Yukon Don? Let's look around. I'm sure we'll find him. Lucky! Lucky! Here, boy! Lucky! Lucky! Look! Paw prints. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. You're right! Lucky must have wandered down into the gold mine. Oh! Lucky, we're coming to get you! Hang on, Squidgy. If we're going to go into the mine, we need to wear helmets to be safe. Uh -huh. And we'll move faster if we take my cart. I want to ride up front with Justin. Justin, you guys found the paw prints, so you can drive. Really? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your arms and legs inside the cart at all times. Keep your headlights on. And enjoy the ride! Everybody ready? I can't look! Here we go! It's your move. 
Hmm. Another call! I bet this time it's a really big rescue. San Francisco Fire Station. We'll be right there. Let's go. Someone else needs our help. This is it, Squidgy. This one's a really big rescue. I can feel it. The biggest rescue ever. What's wrong, little girl? Cuddles. Oh, I like Cuddles, too. <laughs> Squidgy, this is Susie. And Cuddles is Susie's cat. Oh, Cuddles! He's stuck in that tree. Cuddles. Don't worry, Susie. We'll get Cuddles down for you. He's pretty high up. We'll have to use the ladder. <laughs> Here, Cuddles. Come on, kitty. I need to be a little higher. Okay, hold on. How's that? A little higher. More? Perfect. Cuddles! Ah! Ah! Aww, Cuddles is so cuddly. Good work, team. Yeah, helping ducks and kittens is great, but I want to go on a big rescue and be a real hero. Sometimes it's a big rescue, sometimes it's a not so big rescue. Let's get back to the station. Bye, Susie. Bye, Cuddles. Bye. Thank you. Hello, hello. Ravi's the name. Would you like a toy or a game? Hi, Ravi. We really like your toys. Want to do a little trading? Sure. You can have any toy you like. As long as it's a good trade. A good trade? A good trade makes me happy. A bad trade makes me sad. The best trade is the one that makes everybody glad. Hey! 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 Ravi's right. A good trade is the one where everybody's happy. I whistle like a bird, I'm a monkey on a swing, and a camel that bobs up and down when you pull the string. Hey! 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 Hmm, this camel's fun, and this monkey's kind of cute, but I love this bird whistle! Would you trade a whistle for one of my beads, Ravi? Hmm, a tempting offer you've made, but if you give me two beads, then that's the perfect trade. Okay, Ravi. Let's make a trade. We made a trade! Oh, boy, oh, boy! Here you go. Enjoy your toy. That's what I call a good trade. <gasps> a good trade makes us happy. A bad trade makes us sad. The best trade is the one that makes everybody glad. <laughs> a good trade makes us happy, a bad trade makes us sad. The best trade is the one that makes everybody glad. Hey, 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 hey! Justin! Time to go. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, Squidgy. Bye, Olive. Bye, everybody. Goodbye, friends. Happy trading. Happy trading! Okay, Squidgy, I'll trade you all of these marbles for that Jupiter storm. Uh, all of them? You do that for me? I would. A good trade makes me happy. <laughs> me too, Squidgy. <laughs> me too. Huh? The Royal Hat Parade is about to start. Uh, 
I say, Beef Eater Olive, that's a very nice hat that you... <gasps> your hat! You found your hat! Thanks to world-famous Detective Justin and Junior Detective Squidgy. Oh, Hat-tacular! Now we've all got nice hats. Uh, uh, oh, hello, hat lovers. I hereby proclaim you royal world-famous Detective Justin and royal junior Detective Squidgy. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Justin! That's my mom. We have to go. Farewell. I tip my hat to you. Goodbye, Your Highness. Bye, Olive. Bye, Olive. Bye, King. Bye, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. And thanks. <laughs> okay, Squidgy. Let's find that checker. Where was the game before you lost the piece? I had the game all set up on the floor. And before that, it was on the bed. And before that, it was in the toy chest. Hmm. Floor, bed, toy chest. Got it. Let's retrace your steps. When something's lost and it can't be found, you search high and low and you've looked around. Just go to the place that you had it last. Retrace your steps. to play some checkers? <laughs> Look, he's really excited. I'll play the winner when I get back. Is that flamenco I hear? <gasps> that is the king. The, the king? king? I must hear more of that music. Please, enter. <gasps> Hello, my friends. Please, come closer. Your Majesty, I have brought you the finest flamenco performers in all of Spain. I love flamenco. Will you perform for me? Your Majesty, I'd love to play my guitar for you. <laughs> but I can't. My guitar only has one string. <laughs> Senor Justin, I said I would fix your guitar, but I got so carried away taking care of the palace that I forgot. Your Majesty, I, Senor Fernando, am the reason Justin only has one string. So that means... We can't perform for the king? I am afraid not, my friends. I am truly sorry. I would still like to see a flamenco performance. Luckily, I have a solution. Look at all these guitars. Here, Justin, you can play this one. Wow, thanks. Senor Fernando, you can play this one. <gasps> With pleasure, Your Majesty. And I will play this guitar. <laughs> what? I used to be in a band. Let's flamenco. The flamenco. It was fun to play and sing While we watch Olive dancing for the king The most important part of what I say When the song ends, we shout Olay! Wonderful! I have never seen or heard something so beautiful and powerful! You have truly embodied the spirit of flamenco! Olé! Thank you. Justin! That's my mom. We'd better go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Fernando. Bye-bye, Flamenco King. Adios, Justin and Squidgy. See you soon. Bye-bye. Adios. Adios. Here, Squidgy. You play. Really? I said I'd let you play the guitar, but I got so carried away with my turn that I forgot. It's your turn now, and besides, you haven't seen any of my cool flamenco moves. <laughs> <laughs> Olé! All right, where to next? 
the raven totem pole. It's the last one. Hmm. <gasps> there it is, in the forest. Let's go. Wow. wow! These trees are ginormous. Even the crows are huge. <laughs> Those aren't crows, Squidgy. They're ravens. <laughs> what? The ravens say their nest fell apart. Oh, no. That means they won't have a place to sleep tonight. We'll help you build a new nest. How, Justin? It'll take too long. That's a big pile of branches. Huh. I guess you're right. <coughs> hey, I know something that would work. <coughs> Your hat. That would make a perfect nest. But are you sure? Yeah, Justin, that hat was a gift. Yeah. These ravens need it more than I do. They say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, that's the wolf chief. We are almost at the totem party. Sounds like he's over there. Let's go. Bye. Bye. <gasps> There's smoke coming from Granny Lombard's house? They said to hurry. This is it, Justin! To the fire pole! <laughs> Look, Squidgy! Smoke! This time it's a really big rescue for sure. I hope Granny Lombard is okay. Hold on! Olive, you're here, and it's so swell that you brought some of your friends. Hacha, 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 cha, hacha, 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 cha. But there's smoke coming from your backyard. Why, of course there is. It's my 100th birthday. <laughs> the smoke is coming from your birthday cake. Hey, the duckies are here. And Susie and Cuddles, too. It's everyone we rescued today. Cuddles! <clears throat> My hero. Oh, uh, thanks. Well, it seems you helped out a whole bunch of people. That makes you heroes in my books, too. Well, we did make a lot of little rescues, mm -hmm. but we didn't get to do a really big rescue. You mean a fire? I do have a cake with 100 candles on it. I could use some help blowing them all out. <laughs> Go for it, Justin. <gasps> Justin, can I put out this one? Go for it, Squidgy. <gasps> Justin, they could use some water. Firefighter Justin to the rescue! My hero. Is everybody ready to build the Tower of Justin? Ready! Big pieces first. Got it! <laughs> are stacked in place. Great job! And now, the medium pieces. For the middle! Going up! Up, up, up! Now let's finish up the middle. Yeah! 
big at the bottom, medium in the middle, small on top, and one more thing. Ta-da! Yay! The Tower of Justin! 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 That's my dad calling. Time for us to go, Olive. Okay. Bye, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. Bye, Olive. Wow. Hey, that's some tower, Justin. Thanks, Dad. Dinner's almost ready. Make your own sandwiches. Yeah. We'll pile them high to the sky. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Come on. Wait, Justin. One last thing. The perfect place to put the pickle. <laughs> <laughs> The thirst. Let's hurry. Look, the water is all gone. <laughs> Someone saved our tulips. But who? <gasps> Look, an orange tulip. It's very orangey, yeah? Yeah. 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 Hmm. It's only one farmer who grows on tulips. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Tulip Festival, everybody. We will soon present the prize for most colorful tulips. Sounds like we're not too late. Let's get our tulips. I'll get them. Hey, where'd they all go? Oh, no. They must have fallen out along the way. We can't win with just one tulip. We can't? But this is the orangiest orange tulip ever. Hmm. Ooh, what yellowy yellow tulips. <gasps> and these blue tulips are just splendid. Hmm. Now, which one to choose? Ah, yellow. No, no, blue. No, 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 yellow. No, blue. Yellow. No, blue. No, 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 yellow. No, no, blue. Wait! There's one more tulip. Ooh, ooh, now this is the orangiest orange tulip I've ever seen. But I'm afraid you need more than a single tulip. <gasps> hmm. Hey, look! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. The grand prize goes to this wonderful bouquet of blue, yellow, and orange tulips. Oh, Hans, I am so happy. Yeah, me too. Thanks for giving us your tulips, Franz and Hans. No, thank you. You saved our tulips, so we wanted to do something nice for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> it's nice being nice. It sure is, Squidgy. Justin! That's my mom. It's time to go home. Bye, Olive. Bye, everyone. Darn, goodbye. Goodbye. are getting wet. Uh, Squidgy, turn off the water. Oh, I thought you were playing with the sprinkler. I turned it off because I didn't want to get your tulips wet. Why, thank you, Justin. That's very nice of you. It's nice being nice. <gasps> I have an idea. I'll just bring these inside. That way you can keep playing. Nice! Have fun. Okay, Squidgy. Let her rip. Okay. <laughs> Can we do it again? Not now, Squidgy. We've got to find Lucky. There sure are a lot of tunnels. He could have gone down any one of them. I'll look for more paw prints. And I'll try hollering some more. Yoo-hoo, Lucky! He's that way. No, he's that way. That barking could have come from anywhere. Hmm. <gasps> Look, somebody's been digging a hole. <gasps> That's one of Lucky's holes for sure. Look, here's another hole. Where's Lucky?
Rocky! <gasps> Rocky! There you are, boy! You really had us worried. Hi, Lucky. Come on, Lucky. Time to go home. <gasps> Hold up, folks. Looks like Lucky's found something. He's found something in that hole. Gold! Lucky found gold! Yeah! What I tell you, Lucky is the luckiest golden retriever ever! <laughs> Thanks for helping me find Lucky. I don't know how we got out of my yard. Oh. I think I know. Yukon Don, I'm really sorry, but I opened your gate to get my pan. You did? Yeah, and I guess I didn't close it all the way. Huh. Well, y'all admitted your mistake and everything turned out fine. Just next time, be sure to follow the prospector's golden rule. Always ask permission. You got it. Now you're a real prospector and a good neighbor to boot. Justin! We gotta go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Yukon Don. Bye, Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! So long, neighbors. See you. <laughs> Are we going to go in? We can't, Squidgy. We need to always ask permission. Excuse me, Mr. Manning? Hey, is that you, Justin? My super saucer flew over to your backyard. May I please come and get it? Why, sure you can. Thanks for asking first. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Manning. Thanks, Justin. 